Hey, what's going on, Archons? Welcome to another, and not only another, the final episode of the AOA Would You Rather Adaptive show, I guess. I don't know how to what to call this segment, series. And uh, this one is a bonus because uh, my guy, Place and Time, reached out to be a part of it and was the first person after kind of all the decks were claimed. And uh, I thought, you know what, let's just crack another two from uh, what I have and see what we have. And coincidentally enough, it came out with two matching houses, which was super ideal for the way I've been running this. So uh, Jacob, my guy, what's going on? How's it going? Yeah, that's right. I snuck right in there. Thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, this is going to be fun. So uh, we're going to do this one as deck A, uh, Figueroa, the uh, assistant of Cause Wreck. And then deck B is going to be Zaron Shrine Commissioner. Great names on both of those. So uh, let's get right on in. We'll uh, reveal, get your thoughts on the deck, and then uh, you get to decide which one you would rather be playing to kick off the AOA adaptive side of things. Right away, I can say that this deck you're holding now is my favorite house combo in AOA. Really? Yes. So you don't really even need to see the other deck to know you're going with this one. <laughs> That's funny. The other one I... is uh, Shadows Mars Untamed. Yeah. Yeah. It'll probably it'll probably be this one. I do love me some discs. That's my favorite house. Interesting. Were you sad when it rotated out with Unfathomable, or did uh, uh, Unfathomable scratch that itch? That I do like existed? Unfathomable a lot. Also. Just the nature of uh, no set rotation makes it so that doesn't really matter. I can just play this whenever. All right, perfect. All right, so first up, we have a Scowly Caper. Too much to protect. Skeleton Key. Redlock. Oubliette. Swindle. Sucker Punch. Nerve Blast. Double Lamindra. Gamgee. Bad Penny. And then we got a Zorg. Double Zookeeper. Okay. Sample collection, destroy them all. Dominator, Harvester, Think Drome, Beam Buckler, Mother Gun, Mind Worm, Mind Warper. Onto disc with Eater of the Dead, Life Ward, Library of the Damned, Hysteria, mm. Blood Shard Imp, Yerk, Not Finished with You, Misery Exploit, Lash, Dust Imp. Call the Weak and Charette. Oh, nothing to really abuse with that hysteria, but still. What were your thoughts on that on first blush? It looks fun. It does indeed, I will say. It looks that. like a bunch I of agree. fun cards. Yeah, I, I like it too. Um, great artifacts in disc for sure. Um, creature count, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 20 creatures with one two three four oh five pips that's uh that's awkward um but i i mean i think it's going to get on board in a in a good way and i think the ember actually doesn't come from being on the cards but from the cards that are played so to speak mm. um so in disc, was there anything that stood out in disc for you? Hmm. I mean, there is hysteria, the uh, yerk for efficiency. Yep. Um. Hmm, I just I like dust imp. Uh. The not finished with you, I think, is is gonna be uh could be quite potent, depending on uh, what ends up in the discard. The double zookeeper is pretty gross and sample collection. I mean, that means you're not really using yeah. your archives, which also I think is a feels bad when you have um, library of the damned in it, but I guess it'll depend on the timing for that. Yeah, that's true. But I'd rather get some crazy zookeeper plays in there anyways. I mean, it could also be used in a way where you like thin out things like put bad penny in there. So, cause you're not mm -hmm. going to use it or a Lamindra just to free up your hand for drawing. Which is kind of interesting. There's quite a few artifacts in here, actually. There's one, two, three, four, uh, five artifacts. That's a significant amount. Too much protects always nice, um, always especially good. when you have a nerve blast to follow that up. Yeah. Um, 
Gamgee's always cool. Lamindra's could be nice uh, for your Mar side of things, potentially. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Swindles, Swindles always good. Oubliette's always good. Yeah. Uh, the Scowly Caper. This one's going to be interesting. We'll see what the the composition of the other deck is where that could uh, matter. Right. That's um, always a fun rare though. Yeah. I mean, there isn't a ton of board control in this. Like, there's 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 some, but nothing to like really. Actually, I guess it's pretty good for board control. It's not going to do mass, but it's like you got answers to problems, basically. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's pretty cool. The the Vizima Think Drone. Um, I don't think you can abuse. Yeah, again, there's not a lot of playabilities where you get to. Unfortunately, like again with the hysteria situation. All right, let's move on to the next one and see what's there. This one, this one looks like a cool deck though, for sure. It looks fun. Doesn't look super strong, but yeah fun cards I think that is a uh, a very astute assessment okay now I'm going to uh, tell you a secret there's something I know about these two decks oh, I don't remember what it is I yeah I looked I looked at both of us <laughs> always but i don't remember anything but this one there was there was a something about it that stood out but i don't remember what it was exactly mm, so you'll I see i hope it's a mars thing i can't remember so we got post pixies in this one fuzzy grin pen pack of anga and the pen seed fog bank choda amber spine mongrel song of spring persistence hunting marmo swam grove keeper dusk witch then we got a silver tooth which is a mm. legacy card Oubliette, nice. Seeker Needle, what is a legacy card? That was the thing. There's two legacies. Oh in this deck. wow, that's wild. Yeah. Uh, Lights out, Umbra, Sucker Punch, two Ronnies, Life for Life, Lamindra, Knuckles, Furtive Investors, and then onto Mars with an Invasion Portal, Sample Collection, mm. Hypno Beam, Containment Field, <laughs> Combat Pheromones, Harvester, Beam Buckler, Mother Gun, Mind Worm. Mars needs Ember, Fix Finger, and Agent Who Man. Wow, tough, tough, uh, tough crowd, right? Uh, which one would you? I don't know which one I would rather choose. Honestly, they both have. Um, I think they both are pretty balanced in terms yeah. of pros and cons in in the different things. This now, one might do, be stronger, but I think it, so. I, yeah. Ever so slightly. So for um, untamed or for creatures, we got one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen creatures with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pips. So That's a little a bit more better balance. ratio. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, what were things that stood out for you right away on this one? Uh, Nepenthid. Yep. Uh, Fuzzy Gruen and yep. Song of Spring. That seems pretty decent. For sure. Too bad there's not a rocket or what's the uh, Mars creature that... Oh, oh the Sky yeah. Booster Squadron? Yeah, that'd be good. No Sky Booster Squadron for the Dusk Witch, but... Yeah, there is... um. This I think could put in some work, the Pan Pack of Anga, especially with mm-hmm. post pixies, because you have like, especially in the other deck with all the steel, this is gonna actually be kind of annoying. Um the Choda yeah. with the Ember Spine Mongrel is kind of cool. I really I'm a big fan of the Mongrel. I don't know about you. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Uh and then Persistence Hunting is always good. Grove Keeper with the Dusk Witch is always nice. Silvertooth is cool. I mean, having a creature enter play ready, that's just pretty badass. And then the Seeker Needle has uh, a target or two, which is always good. Uh, Oubliette's great. Lights mm-hmm. out, again, some disruption. Always like Umbra's it. Umbra's fine. Yeah, the double Ronnie is really Double nice. Ronnie, yeah, for sure. Yeah, there's that could uh, get abused, especially... What, what was I thinking about here? Oh, Nepenseed and Ronnie is obviously something. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, what else do we have? And I mean, you can set that up perfectly with a life for a life, too. Right. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the invasion portal with some of the other cards. Probably it could wouldn't really use it. Hose you. 
Yeah. Yeah. I think it's just I think skip it's there right once. over both Ronnie's. <laughs> yeah, but I think there there'll be a it's good to have because there's a place in time when okay we don't have to worry about that anymore. Let's cycle into it. Yeah, Both have sample true. collections, which is cool. The hypno beam is going to be powerful with the two yeah. houses being the same. Yeah. Also, you could hypno beam. Wait. Uh. No, never mind. I was going to say something about Scally Caper, but that wouldn't that wouldn't be a thing. You could do that, <laughs> but why would you want to? <laughs> <laughs> well, it would already be like, yours. But I was yeah. thinking like there's some wild play in there, but I don't think there is. <laughs> uh, combat pheromones. I mean, there are some some pretty half decent mars creatures in here so you could get a, a like a pretty good mars board and be able to yeah like maybe a harvester that. and then a mind warper would be like max use yeah i mean you could also even direct damage with a mother gun because i actually right. think that's where this deck is a little short is it's lacking the removal that is actually true it's it's not hard removal it's like this is your best removal is life for a life yeah. and sample collection i think Hmm. And so mother gun is actually going to be helpful for that. So that's one thing to remember. Um, I guess Mars needs Ember with seeker needle. That could be a way. Could you be get good. Yeah. Going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then obviously sucker punch. You could set that up. If you Aside can sucker from, punch. Yeah. Yeah. And then the beam buckler obviously is an instant beam buckler and mother gun set up for like essentially two Ember for sure. So um, yeah, this is a little bit lighter on the Ember control in terms of, I think the sheer aspect of how much you can do, but I think it actually comes through where it's going to be able to have more moments where it can, it can like, it's like get you an extra turn to stay yeah. in the game. Mm, All right. So yeah. which one are you thinking, man? Which one do you want to roll with? You stick into with your, with your initial thoughts? Yeah. I'm going to stick with my, with the first one there. All right. So place and time is rocking the, Figuro Figueroa, the assistant of Kozrek, and I'll be playing uh, Zoran Shrine Commissioner. So we will be back at you with these with some adaptive. All right, we are back with the adaptive gameplay of this. And as we said before, here is what place and time is rocking. And uh, I got this pretty cool looking deck. They're, they're both cool decks. We've established that uh, here. It's It's obviously always fun to have a couple of legacies i think i think that's one of the coolest aspects of keyforge is there is things like legacies and stuff in the mix would you agree yeah definitely they added legacies right the second they could aoa yeah. and they were like but also things from last set yeah it's pretty cool All someone right, told me see. they had a double library access deck and i was like i didn't know that it was even possible to have more than one library access in a deck so that's pretty neat Hmm. Yeah, that's one of those commons that they made only one of per, right? Like bait and switch? I think so, yeah. That's what I thought, but maybe I was wrong. It is possible, I suppose, just to search for it on DOK, see if it exists. Yeah, true. Oh, that's awful. Okay. All right, I also mulliganed. I wish I hadn't. I had Duskwitch in my opening hand, and I was like, ooh, should I go for that big play? And I realized you have so much removal in the deck that it's not even worth the 2-2-2 that it came with. Dust Imp. Classic. Classic Keyforge. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. What are your thoughts on, on Fuzzy Gruen? You get two Ember, but your opponent gains one compared to like Deep Water Gruen. Uh, Deep Water Gruen is just the same thing, right? But with the tide high? Yeah, if you have the tide, then well, as long as the tide isn't low, it doesn't have to be high. It's just as long as the tide isn't low, then your opponent doesn't gain one. I still think it's better. Just could you? Oh, um, so it's like turn one, you can. Yeah, exactly. Get it off without grid. giving. No yeah. problem. Yeah, and it's also a common, right? Yeah, this one's a rare. Yep. All right. I like it more. I mean, just the fact that 
this like your opponent could be at five ember and you don't have any ember control and you're just kind of like oh well, i can't really play this right now oof oh <laughs> yeah, yeah post pixies cool <laughs> I was like, what just happened? I'm like, how I do guess I still that's... have Ember? <laughs> I guess that's just a discard in that situation. I would think so, yes. Congratulations. Thank you for setting up such a great moment for me. That's exalting when while in AOA. <laughs> yeah. Facts, that is exalting in AOA. <laughs> that slightly changes what I want to do now. He's got a ton of Shadows cards here. All right, this is my favorite point. Wait, let me think. Wait one second here. Actually. You should play Hysteria. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'll go Mars then. Let's protect that amber that I accidentally put there. Interesting. What are you saving that other... Uh taunt for is what my curiosity um, peaked. Probably like a zookeeper. Ah, uh, good call. Uh, it's just a habit too. It's like if I don't specifically like the thing, I will I will leave the taunt open. Got you. Okay. Mm, all right, I'm gonna pass on my Ford. It's probably a smart idea. So uh, let's go shadows. Do I reap with this guy? I am not sure now. I know I'm doing that. That. Oh, that was the play. Okay. There you go. Protect your Zorg. Oh, you've TMTP. Crap. That may have been a, a poor decision. Well... I don't, I don't have it. Oh, oops, that was a misplay. That was silly. Do you, do you swindle? Do you want to go back? Uh, it's su it's sucker punch. Oh, it's fair. That one's uh, hard too. I guess it. Yeah. We'd be nah. hard to wind those back. Yeah. Oh, actually, it would be my intention would be to kill. Post pixies, Post pixies and gain an amber. Uh, okay, yeah, let's do it. And then just throw it into your archives. We can manual it. Let's do it. I appreciate you. Yeah, man. And I'll put one damage on Post Pixies. There we go. We're good now? I think that's everything. Okay, well, Oops. that was silly. All right. We well, had yeah, too much for tech would have been uh, very ideal there. Yeah. Didn't have it. Oof. Hmm. 
term. I think I need to stall tempo here, so I'm going to lie forward. Okay. I don't know if that's the right decision, but I'm going with it. That's a thing. Okay. Hmm. How you been enjoying uh your dark tiding stuff lately? Uh I've been enjoying it. I got decently lucky, I think with my polls I only got uh, about 20 decks, but I'm pretty happy with what I got. Nice. I just won uh, my ABR match, which was uh, DT Archon. Oh, sick. With uh, one deck I pulled from that, which, yeah, that went pretty well. That was fun. Yeah, the right now I feel like it's so weirdly rated. Like I can't, I can't tell. Yeah. A lot yeah. of, like, some stuff I'm like, this feels, like, I played one deck that was like a 75 and it looked so good and when i played it it was just like dumpster fire like i'm like this thing should just be burned <laughs> and it felt so good when you played and then it always like you start off so good and then just non-closer you, you notice there's decks like that like you're it starts off but you're like this is sick and then you're like oh i lost yeah and then for it sure keeps happening over and over and you're like okay there's definitely something wrong with the deck at this point yeah, my highest SAS deck, I could not, I kept just not being able to win with, but then I kind of eventually figured out like what it was trying to do. But I also, also think that's probably just new set unfamiliarity. I've had that before. I had a deck one time where it took me actually 10 plays before I figured out what it did. And it was like literally yeah. on like the 10th time I was losing like 0 and 6. And then suddenly I just turned this corner. I was like, oh, you don't play this house. You got to <laughs> right. wait. And then yep. it suddenly unlocked. I'm like, wow, which is and then such it's a cool like, thing about Keyforge. Yeah, and then it's like, boom, uh, adaptive deck. Yeah. Um, are am I frozen or are you going? Am I are you frozen? Uh, I swindled, so it should be have passed to your okay. turn. I am. Frozen. Oh, it says yeah. It says you disconnected. All right. That was ill timed, to say the least. Oh no, should I be worried? No, I just can't take you off track, is what I mean by ill time. Oh, I thought you meant ill time uh, for me. Yeah, no. Uh, do I even play this? I guess so. It seems bad. Yeah, the Mars Needs Ember was useless. All right, I'm going to go Mars here. I like that you went Mars. Hmm. All right, that's Mother Gun. I wonder who you choose. Yeah, I was thinking that also. Ooh, good choice. Good choice. And I found oh, my gracious. best friend Zookeeper. Uh, that's a yikes. Okay. Um, yeah.
so that's not fun. Um, so that's some Mars. I have some answers. Purge that. Lights out on these two because they're annoying. For you, not for me. Because you have to stun them. That's why I was, <laughs> I was excited you went Mars and unstunned them. So I'm like, yes, now I can do maximum. <laughs> Maximum douchebag move. <laughs> all right, that's all I got. Uh, so what got you into Keyforge? I forgot to ask you that when we started off. Ah, oh, yes. Um, oh no, my harvester doesn't have a friend anymore. I see. I know. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna be honest. I know that seemed like a top tier move, but I wasn't planning for that to happen. <laughs> it just conveniently worked out uh, that way. Nice. How I got into Keyforge? Well, I got into uh, Coda just at launch, um, just from being a board gamer and following what was going on at Gen Con that year. Mm -hmm. And uh looked really cool. I was playing Magic with some friends at the time, but there was definitely some like unsatisfactory elements that kept me from getting more into it. Um, I've heard that story before. <laughs> Yeah. So Keyforge kind of just like landed in a spot where it's like I liked the unique decks and the lack of metagame and stuff. And mm, okay. uh played it for a while during Coda and then uh a buddy of mine moved out of the area that I was playing with and uh didn't play for all of um AOA, Worlds Collide, Mass Mutation, and then came back like halfway through Mass Mutations when my buddy moved back into the area. Oh, okay. Uh, so I ended up getting back into the game then, and uh, yeah, been having a bunch of fun with it since. So you, you have been playing like since the start? I played Coda, and then, yeah, I didn't play any set until words collide so i had a bunch of catching up to do okay i'm sure some people have told you 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 did good it's it's weird how polarizing aoa is i find like people love it or hate it i it blows my mind that people like left the game because of aoa i mean yeah, that is weird. i yeah i i really enjoy it personally this is a big yikes I was pretty proud of myself for mother gunning my own Gamgee. Yeah, I I appreciated that play more than you'll know. <laughs> Apparently, I like reaping for two more than I like stealing one, which probably isn't good. Okay, I kind of need to do some damage control here. Just do those two. So I shuffled uh, Choda and uh, Fuzzy Gruen into my deck. Okay. I feel like this is the right, the right stymie for your your Mars situation right now. Hmm. All right. All right, I'll go this here then. No archives. All right. Uh, yeah, for sure. All right, not finished with you. Oof. Hmm. I'm curious what you're going to choose here. 
Yeah, me too. I mean, <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, oh, that's what right. that's exactly what I would have chosen. Nice. Oh, and you're in check. What a nuisance. The only thing was that I took my uh Oh no, Eater of the Dead isn't uh disc creatures, it's any creature. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know which one you're thinking of. No, I just read the card wrong. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, I don't have much options right now. Okay. I'll go shadows here. Take my archives. Remember to sucker punch first this time. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, that's why. Rude. <laughs> And then deploy Lamindra. Where would be interesting? Hmm. I just want to give it to Harvester without taking Taunt off him, so I'll go there. No, you can't use Harvester though. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! That was a terrible move. <laughs> oh gosh! That's great. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'll have to keep that one. Let's keep that one for the books, you know. Ah <laughs> uh, no! Hey, well, you always got your mother gun to use when the time comes. Oh yep, that's my move. You know it. Yeah, that's your move. <laughs> that was glorious. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's on purpose to give him elusive on your turn, and then I mother gun on my turn to take the elusive. Ah, uh, okay, I got you. Lawless Man. strategy. This 4D chess you're playing over there, I can't exactly. keep up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess I'll capture one. Yeah. Hmm. I do not like the options I have. So first off, I got a mother gun. For five, let me take out that. Moonlit's sample collection, the Zorg. I'm really debating using the uh, Huh. Yes, that's what we're going to do. There you go. Ah, you flipped my flop. Yep. Question is, do I use Invasion Portal? Oh, I have way too many good cards left. Way too many. All right, take your key. Mm, delicious. <laughs> All right, what can I do? What can I do? Hmm.
I think this is going to come down to the wire just seeing everything right now. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have a big play here. That would be dumb if I did that. Hmm. Shoot. All right. I suppose. That's just a bad turn, though. <laughs> so right. you gotta take the L. Yeah, I just gotta do something here. Alright, let's capture into Dominator. Ugh, oh, that's so annoying. I guess I'm just going to reap and then play out another Lamindra. Uh, to the right. <laughs> nice. Okay. I, I like I like your style. That's how I would do it too. <laughs> All right, that's that's my turn. All right. Um. Hmm. 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 I'm guessing you're holding it too much to protect by your shenanigans you're pulling here. Shenanigans. What? Shenanigans. First you shenan, and then you <laughs> shenanigan. Yeah, that's true. That was disgusting that you just did that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to distract you. Well, it's working. Oh, I hate this. Oh, maybe I can use this to my advantage. Uh, I don't like my options right now. Mm -hmm -hmm. Hmm. Too much protect is so wild because it doesn't matter if I have it right now. You have to play around it as if yeah, I have it. Yeah, it's true. I do because it put you can go into check with what I with like the maximum number I can gain, and take me off check all in the same foul swoop so i have to be cautious all right i think i go mars let me go mother gun reveal get rid of that lamindra Oh, I don't like that at all. Uh, okay, that's fine. I hate that, actually. Oh, it's elusive. Dang it. I literally what? just, I just F that up so badly. I forgot it was elusive. Oh, game blocker. Oh, you want to grab it back? Um... Uh... If you don't mind, what I, all I'm going to do is this. So just kill the Harvester. And I'm going to exhaust Agent Human instead because that solves my problem. So I just won't use Human. I'll put one damage on my Beam Buckler. Gotcha. And then, yeah, and then we're, we're where we need to be. I don't know how I always forget about Lamindra like that. So my Lamindra should still be dead though, right? No, your Lamindra's alive. I had two of out. them? No, I killed one. and then You, you killed one with the play effect and then one with... No, no, I did I did one with uh, Mother Gun. I revealed one card. Oh, it's Mother Gun. It's Mother Gun. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm frozen. Gotcha. Oh, you're back. Okay. Well... Oh, this is so annoying because I'm still not in check. Hmm. 
You're not in check? Well, I mean, I'm in check, but it's irrelevant with... You can take me off so easily, it pisses me off. Oh, a skeleton key? Yeah. All right, let's just keep rolling with this. Okay. Well. Ah, I don't want to do that at all. I really don't want to do that. What, you skeleton key to take me off check? <laughs> no, I'm kind of thinking about doing that. Hmm. These are kind of. This is looks a lot like what my hand looked like last turn. I couldn't help but notice. <laughs> well then, maybe it's because you didn't do anything. Is that why? Maybe. What did you do last turn? Oh yeah, you did the skeleton. Key. <laughs> played a Lamindra and skeleton key. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh. Uh. Uh. I think I have to go for a cycle play here, so I'm gonna go dis. Unfortunately. All right. Go ahead and archive a card, a mysterious card. Oh, I'm getting nervous now. No, it's not good. Oh boy. Uh this actually Yeah, this kinda sucks. Alright, so take out the mind warper or mind worm. Hmm. Okay. Ah, I don't like this, but I think it might be circumstantially interesting. All right. Uh, I'm gonna do Ooh, a blood shard imp. That then, is circumstantially interesting. I'm gonna discard a hysteria. What? You don't want my Ronnie to come back? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I Give like you one you amber, Ronnie, and Tixel. Oh, sucker punched. Boy, did this flip. <laughs> <laughs> Bet you didn't see that coming. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Uh, I'm going to tell you a secret. What's up? I think I win. <laughs> I can actually take you off check this turn, but yeah, I don't think I put okay. myself on check. Oh, because you got the uh, TMTP. I got the TMTP key. and the skeleton key, which is not great. It's a thing, though. It is indeed. Uh. <laughs> uh. Do I play Bad Benny? <laughs> well, I do have a do secret needle, so Bad I wouldn't Benny? mind. Oh, right. Oops. <clears throat> That's why I shouldn't play it. But I already did it on accident. Oh, it won't matter, to be very honest with you. Oh, you have a Choda. Oh, okay. Wait, I do wait. have you a got Choda. A, you got a bursty, untamed turn, huh? Game is over. <laughs> well, I just go... Uh, nice. Combat pheromones. Excellent. Excellent. Boom. Just like that. Ba boom. I didn't, I had a Ronnie that I didn't even play that one turn because it was unnecessary. I'm like, oh I'll just keep it in case you get into check. Nice, yeah. Nice, All nice, right. nice. This deck is a cool deck, I gotta say. They they actually match up yeah. pretty good because we went right down to the wire there, for sure. I so think, we're swapping. Yeah, you know what I think. Um, are you gonna hit it? I'm gonna hit it. All right. 
I think I think <laughs> honestly that one turn where you like took me off check and then you did the exact same thing again, I think that was the moment that you should have cycled. Yeah, yep. I uh, spent one turn too long getting you off check. If I cycled sooner. Yeah. Oh, it didn't work? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna oh, create a new one uh as a reversal. So we just choose our same decks again. Okay, cool. All right, so here we have we've swapped decks and uh let's see how this goes. Oh well that's a starting hand. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's a mulligan for me. All right, let's just do a cute little turn one silver tooth. Uh, that is that is very cute. How do you like them apples? Uh, Although I will say that that doesn't really the silver tooth makes it kind of like uh, whoops. Hmm, interesting. Well. Got the sucker punch for one zookeeper. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But you got a bunch of elusives. Hmm. Let's get that ember. Or hit Zorg for two, I guess is what you're thinking, huh? Uh, nah. That ain't worth nothing. Oh, wait, no. Marzine's Amber's in here. That's why it's worth something. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I made that mistake. No, it's no, not actually. Don't do that. Yeah, because it it's non-Mars creatures. Marzine's Amber is actually a bad guy. Oh, yeah. Matchup. Right, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Definitely got to keep that in mind. Okay, I'll just something do something like that. Looks like something. All right. I'm going to just keep going with Mars here. Interesting. Interesting. Let's just gain Ember. I think maybe the legacies though feel like more wild as like more sets come out. Because yeah, there's like a cool. Coda legacy in AOA, it just doesn't feel like as crazy because <laughs> it's just like, yeah, it just feels like early Keyforge. Yeah, you're right. It it doesn't have the same uh same oomph to it. Hmm, okay. I guess I'll just do that. That seems fine. Go shadows. Uh right. Grab the sucker punch back. Use the sucker punch. Right. Mm, maximum value. Those zookeepers didn't stand a chance. So you told me that uh, Shadows, Mars, and Dis is your is that your favorite house combo? Ugh, or like just in this, it's your favorite house combo. Um, those are no, yeah, specifically in AOA. Although Dis is my all time favorite house, uh, specifically in AOA, I would say that's my favorite house combo. Right. Okay. So purge that. that discard that Wait, is there oh no there's not a ronnie in that deck okay unfortunately not you got two of them and i just kind of went to seven just thinking like i don't know sometimes i play risky with the too much to protect i don't always like i think one's fine seven is like well i get one but is it really worth it all right i'd rather hold it as the boogeyman instead yeah for sure i think the idea of too much to protect is really what you're playing with when you have it in your deck mm -hmm. the skeleton key when it's out with too much protect is really potent because you know that like when you had that i was like ah oh. it's like no matter what you can get the ember and take me off check it wasn't just like 
you're gonna right. steal it it's like you're gonna take me off as well as steal it because sometimes you're like okay it's fine if you play it um and get a couple extra ember i'm still forging but when you know that you're not gonna forge as well it feels real bad hmm. i like how i have that. one ember and you have a key and one ember i also like that <laughs> i was using sarcasm it may have been the oh. fiddling bands, but <laughs> <laughs> I think I am gonna cycle here. So let's go Mars. Get out the invasion portal. I was really worried about uh, your destroy them all, which never came. Oh yeah, I don't think I ever pulled it last game. Oh man. Oh, I don't know that I I probably did the wrong thing here. Our uh, distracting oh, conversation. I forget. Our is it open handed? I can't see right anything. Now? No, I can't. I see mean, anything. not not for you, but uh, I don't think anyone's spectating. Uh, oh, wait, that would only be for the spectator. Yeah, I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. For like the viewers later, but no, they wouldn't be able uh, to see either. Well, I I guess I could have done it that way if I set up like a an extra account and had it somewhere else recording, but. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure how that would work. That's a good idea for future, though, to think about that. All right, this is gonna become my signature right here. I'm gonna <laughs> containment field my own silver tooth. Okay, interesting. I like it. All right. That was a good cycle indeed. Wow. Now my the play I want to do feels bad. Uh So now I'm doing that. And that. And that to get rid of that. I don't like this anymore. I guess you don't get the ember, so it's fine. That feels real bad. Oh, that's interesting, though. Hmm. I have to remember that the card in my archives is not mine because it, it is share a house with one I have. And I'm like, oh, I should play that. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do I do here? Okay. I guess I'll go. Uh, I'll go shadows here. Oh, wait. Oh, shoot. What happened? Uh, never mind. I'll just... I'll go Shadows here. Sucker Punch. Lamindra. Get out the Seeker Needle. Knuckles Bolton. Right where I want him. Right next to my Harvester. Yeah, it seems to be your so signature I can, play. So I can spend three turns slowly Seeker Needling it to death. <laughs> yeah you just made me realize i don't want to do something yikes i have a, a sucker punch in hand and it it doesn't feel very good considering you can just do that oh interesting like no matter where i put it i guess i'll put it on yours because that feels a little bit better oh actually wait what am i talking about Probably would have wanted to put on. The... I can just do that instead. So oh, it makes oh, no difference. there you go. What was I thinking? I'll give you that. I didn't I think find Scally Caper that. last game either. No, you didn't. There you go. You can't play Cali. Oh, thank you. Okay, yeah. can't play them. Won't play them. Uh. All right, I got to go Mars there then. Mars is gone. Uh, you can use I'm the portal? Just gonna... <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> 
I asked you that question to see if you had Ronnie, and you told me you don't. <laughs> oh, the mother gun, yeah, Marty's I'm not Embers gonna. is nice. And this deck is really not cutting the mustard right now. I feel like I've nearly lost my lead here, though. I feel like I just kind of stalled out for a couple turns. Mm. Oh, this Library of the Dam suddenly is no longer good. Uh, maybe it's worth it anyways, though. Wait, did you just tell me you have Zookeepers in your hand? No, I said I said maybe this um, Library of the Damned isn't good because I have one of your creatures, so I can't use it. Oh, you, you already have one of my creatures. Yeah. Oh, right. I took your uh, Umbra. That's what it was. And I'll never forget it either. <laughs> well, that's good. Let's put that out there. Um, I guess we'll just do this because why not? No, oh, that backfired. Or did it? Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. All right. I got to go untamed here. No dark yes. archives. <laughs> um. Let's see, we're going to fight Skelly into, uh, I guess just Bloodshot. <laughs> oh, I forgot I had Skirmish. I don't know what I was thinking. Well, you deny me an Ember, right? If I yeah. with it. I suppose I probably would have still done the same thing. Um, all right. Excellent. Excellent. Are you deciding what creature you want to allow get destroyed by Scully Caper right now? Perhaps. <laughs> Alright, I'll fog bank, can't fight next turn. Okay. Persistence hunting dis. Uh, that feels bad. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Ooh. No. It does that. Uh, Amber Spine. Now, this is what sucks. I'm going to play Song of Spring, which I like want to return the fuzzy, but then... Oh, Amber Spine dies. Yeah. So I could have held it, let the fuzzy die, and then returned it next turn with the Song of Spring. But I'm just going to do it this turn. I'm, I'm just going to let it happen. Or right. what? Eh, I could just also return the Amber Spine, I suppose. Or you could do nothing. <laughs> That's uh, also an option. I'll just do that. All right. Okay, P.S. All right, this will be a quick turn. Swiss swindle. You got it. Okay. Ooh, that was spicy. Are my mind games working? Is it too mm. much to handle? Do you see what I'm doing here? Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to ignore it. All right, let's see. Okay, I have to do this because this is such an issue. I actually wish, like, Keyforge is a game where I feel like it's kind of bad form to do things like that. 
like to to play psychological oh. games with your opponent i feel like that's not really like sure. in the spirit of keyforge but i i love doing that like bring that poker element where you just like try and <laughs> throw them off with little quips here and there all right it's all for the fun of it oh no oh i did not expect that Interesting indeed. Um, I also just missed uh, one point in mother gun value. Yeah, that probably wasn't the right way to play that turn. Anyways, it's next. Okay. Uh, I feel like... Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's interesting indeed. Mm, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, let's. Wait a second. Oh, am I that dumb? Oh yeah, I am. Oops. What'd you do now? Uh I'll you tell you later. <laughs> Remember when you tried to save Ember Spine Mongrel? Purged. Oh my old friend. I don't know if that was the right play, but I do have a misery exploit, so it's Massimenos. And the lash. Ugh. That may have been uh. the right play. I may have screwed up just now. I made a really bad last play, so I don't really... I gotta figure out how to dig out of this here. Hmm. I'm, I'm assuming that your play had something to do with combat pheromones. Uh... No, actually not. Um, actually. What's that from? I know you're referencing something there. Uh, it probably is from something, but I just think of just a nerdy, just a nerdy guy voice. <laughs> All right, let's go untamed, throw out Nepseed. Ooh, that's well-timed. Llama Swarm. Don't forget your keys cost nine. Right. So the show to play you're planning using combat pheromones won't work. It will it will not. It will not. Am it I will not. You, am I reading you all right now? <laughs> I am going to Save the combat for him. <laughs> <laughs> no, shit. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should. Um, hmm. Wait a second. I'm actually going to use it now. I'm just going to do it. Just for one amber, then dusk witch. Ooh, that is problematic. Things must be considered right now. 
Hmm. Things. Yeah, it doesn't help. Oh, that does actually kind of work. All right, it's time for a good old fashioned YOLO. Oh, here we go. Flash. Whoopsh. Yeah, exactly. Ugh, that's so annoying. <sighs> okay. I need to think here. Okay. Keep getting lashed. I know. Well, guess what I'm digging for. <laughs> <laughs> um, Stolly McStollerson over here. Yeah, exactly. That's nothing right now. Okay, I guess I'll do that. All right, let's go shadows, take archives back. Uh, sucker punch the Lamindra. Gamji. I mean, I the Gamgee. I thought we were going to do Dust Imp. That, that would have been the play I would have done. Ah, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll play Lamindra. And then brutally murder it. Mm. That's and quite rude. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anymore okay then i'm 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 going to do something weird i'm just going to nepseed into uh nepseed into into fog bank baby let's go Oh, this feel good oh at all. I see what you're doing. You're trying to replicate my play. I see you. Ah, I don't like this at all. The chances of you not having ah, I don't know what I'm doing. I just don't know how I get out of it. You keep flashing me. Well, you still I'm, forge I'm... now. Unless I'm holding charrette. Dun, dun, dun. Lash. Fight. Oh, man, it's really bottom six. Oh, I'm so effed then. <laughs> I'm going to have way too much amber. How did you gain an ember? Oh, I played... Uh... Furtive Investors, got it. Furtive Investors, yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna go like that, and then play hysteria. Then make it me eat that nine. I guess we go like that. Yeah, that's about right. That was okay. the right. Okay. Cool. That's interesting. But yeah, once. Oh, okay. Anyways, uh, all right. Let's go untamed. 
fog bank, highest value fog bank, max <laughs> value. Okay. Uh oh. Just doing what Untamed loves to do. Big yikes here. Boom, take that. That's what you nice. call rude. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, that is game. What? Yes, sir. Oh. Wow, we both won the exact same way. All right. Yeah, so. we both won on Chota. <laughs> Okay, so um, we go to chain bidding now, and since this All is right. the deck I started with, I start off at zero chains. Uh, sorry, so you're bidding on which deck? The deck you just played. Because the deck okay. won twice, so and I was the technical owner of the deck in this matchup, so... Uh, I would... I'm a, I'll bet one. Okay. I'll go with two. All right, you can have it for two. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to go rematch swap decks. Cool. You think it's just slightly better is what you're thinking, hey? Uh, uh, and since I lost, I get to choose. Yeah. So I'll go first. It's just I don't think it's worth four. So if I went to three, I mean, if I, I'm not, I don't know. Oh, wait. Okay. I'm sorry, what's happening? Oh, chains. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. You give it to me for two? Yeah. All right, here we go. Ooh, baby. Interesting. Okay. You know, if I just looked at the deck list, I'd probably think more chains than that, but just from the way that we it they played, played out yeah they've been it was they so close been both blowouts. games yeah i think yeah. you might be right i don't not like this hand at all i don't not oh am i gonna get away with it uh yeah. <laughs> Yar. Do I Ah, all right, dang it. Okay. It's a good thing I got this hand. Nice. Uh, hmm. Let's just go Ember Push. Cool, cool. Um, so now I'm just worried about Oubliette because the Sucker Punch and Nerve Blast are the guess a combo. It's not Oubliette, but it, it's it is Scowly. Uh, but I still get a turn, which is good. Yep, true that. But it will do things. That's unfortunate.
Oh, but the plot thickens. That is a thick plot. That's unfortunate. Um. Yeah, man, that thing is very much alive. Work. Unfortunately, I just go to check, but I'm I think I'm leaving you with a a bad situation. And Aaron Charles, okay, we're gonna have Grove Keeper do that first, and then we'll take out Grove Keeper. That's a big scally caper. My gosh. Um Well, I got that one turn. Um how do I deal with this? I think. Let's oh no! With life for oh. life is in this deck. Yeah, hysteria oh, maybe. <laughs> oh no! I, I have it. I have it. Whew. That's called the oh. week because it happens to be the weakest right now. Oh yes. Flash one turn too late. The turn one dusk witch is so. It's like the questions are posed. It's really good. I'm actually going to discard this Yerk. Mm. Interesting. Hmm. Feels counterintuitive, but is it? Like you know that show Hot Ones? Yes. I feel like this is like almost like the Keyforge version of that. Or you could do something like that where it's more just like you have to answer a question during your turn. That could right. be funny. Uh okay, I like it. Like during your turn you don't have a choice, you gotta make that decision. Uh it's it's kind of just awkward to enforce it, I guess would be like during your turn, you have to answer a question. I actually did that. Well, when I had my my other series, which I haven't done in a while, I should do it again, which was uh, Crucible and Cognac. What is going on? Right. Oh, I have to choose one. Yeah, let's get rid of that. It was uh, it was fun to do. That wasn't like you had to, though, right? That was just like more of a casual interview. Yeah, I just asked questions while they were playing, though, and it always threw people off. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> All right. This is an interesting game. I think this is... I think I'm about to do some 3D chess here. Right. It's really not. It's really not, but I'm just going to grab my own Gamgee back into my archives. Oh, okay. Gain an amber. That's unfortunate. I don't like that. No thing to protect it. Oh, what the heck? All Martians get? Oh, I don't like that at all. We're going to do something about that right now. Something shall be done about that. Oh, oh, from Fixed Finger? Yeah, it's giving your guy armor. Oh, for some reason, it... that is not showing up on my screen. That's weird. Yeah, it, you don't see the Zookeeper has one armor? Is it because the, the thing's pushed? Oh, oh sorry. See. I was getting confused because Mindworm is a beast, not a Martian. Yeah, that's why. Okay. It's not Mars creatures, it's Martian creatures. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's uh, reap with that and turn and stop that from happening. Well, this is just ugly. Good. Uh, so because it's uh, after this creature is used, used would include getting the you reap get effect off. Yeah. You okay. get to do it one time. 
because you choose the order. So if you have it layered, then you can stack it to so you reap, you first resolve the reapability, and then containment field. Okay. That just seems fun then, so let's do that. Go Mars. The mother gun out. Mine worm, caper, and then zookeeper, my caper back to my archives. Oh, that is fun. I like that. That was quite tidy. Yes. Well, I don't think I really have a choice just based on my hand. I think the double Ronnies didn't really come into effect like they could have in the first couple games. Yeah, like that's a big part of what makes your deck probably more valuable chain wise. All right, let's go shadows. Take archives back. Ugh. Uh, I don't have a sucker punch. TMTP. Yeah, the TMTMP. Well, that's the first time I think TMTMP got played the entire game, right? Oh, no, you played it the first time. I think I did, yeah. Escapes, McGapes. And skill. Er, wait. Yeah. Um. Let's do it on the venture and reap for one pass. Okay, so um, steal one. Boom. Problem solved. Take that. <laughs> All right. Well, it is time to take a this turn then. Yeah, because this deck is humming right now. Oh, I I, had, I was like, oh my goodness, he's going to... I like knew that was coming. I felt <laughs> it. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. I mean, there is a play of not playing the charrette and just making you pay nine, like right now, but I think it's just, I don't know about that. I think buying yourself a turn might be the answer. Yeah. Yeah, my pace is too, too behind. Hmm, what about this card? I'm going to play this card. Yeah, I'm going to play that card. Oh. Well, that changes my things. I don't know why I did that, actually. I guess I'm going this route. <laughs> no think, just do. Yeah, basically. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean... I probably should have just held that TMTP, but I don't know what I don't know what, but I don't know what, but yeah, I don't know. That was um, it, when you see me with twelve Ember now, yes, that does make sense. But <laughs> at the time, I would have forged if you hadn't used it, you know, because you took me to six and then you use your skeleton yep. key, so right. I would have forged and still be on my third key right now. So then it it has like less effect when you're on key three. Especially yeah. and you if know it, Choda exists. Right. And if it had been hadn't been played yet, you probably wouldn't go to twelve. That is true though. That that is that is very true, yes. The deterrent is no longer there. The boogie monster is not in my my thought process right now. 
You kind of have to go dis, don't you? Well, I think the the conversation about making me forge for nine, I think, exists now. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, uh, just don't, it don't feel good. But yeah, I just I lose otherwise. <laughs> I have to uh, do that first. Let's archive this. Hmm. Uh, I guess I'm going to fight here. Just take out. Uh... Oh, purge a creature from a discard pile. Okay, I don't really have any experience with Eater of the Dead. It's pretty good. Okay, I will purge your Ronnie. Yikes, okay. I did not much care for that. Ooh, this is dangerous Chota territory here. All right. Oh, shoot. Shoot. I don't think I can... Hmm, there's a chance. I just can't stop this. <laughs> oh, okay. gosh. Um, is there an nothing. answer? I'll do that. Swindle. So I'm going to tell you something and you're going to be mad when I tell you this. Oh, no. Oh, wait, maybe not. I guess I do that. Okay, I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> you actually did. You stymied me pretty good. I think it's the only thing I could have done. Well, I mean, I have lash, but I need to give myself some amber. Oh, there it is. There it is. No, because it's oh. shuffled back. Because I, I couldn't get to seven. Cool. So nice. I just put you. That's... So I'm just going in check and shuffling yeah. that one card back. That was still pretty the, cool. Uh, give me the possibility. And. <laughs> this is what I can do to not lose this turn. Bottom. Play that. Archive that. Wow. Uh, <laughs> RN Jesus is with me tonight. <laughs> I only drew one card. Oh, there it is. <laughs> nice. Nice. It's kind of wild that, that this deck won every game turn three Chota, right? That's kind of wild to think about. That is pretty crazy. Well, it didn't win every game, but it won every time it won, it won with the turn three Chota. No, this deck won every game. Dude. Oh, no, this deck won every game with Chota. Because I won the first game with Chota, you won the second game with Chota, and now the third game won with Chota. Wait, it was, did that it was really key. happen? Yeah, that really happened. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Do you know what your misplay was? Uh... No, yeah, wait, walk me through it. You purged Ronnie instead of Choda when I had Nepenthe on board and Song of Spring hadn't come yet. Oh, you was purged. it in your discard? It was in the discard the whole time. Oh, yeah. man, I was uh, not taking either of the dead seriously enough. It's like I, I fought and then all of a sudden your discard pile and my discard pile popped up and oh, I was like, right, right, oh, right. look, fancy, colorful things. <laughs> I, I was like, you. yeah, I was like, there's I was like, oh, never. 
there's never anything better to purge than Ronnie. <laughs> but of it's course, true. Yeah. it's you know what nine Coda. times out of ten that's correct, except for the fact that this deck yeah. wins because of the the fuzzy Nepenthe oh, yeah. play and Song of Spring is so powerful. This is actually a pretty good deck, I gotta say. Ah, oh, I do like that one as well. Oh yeah. yeah, but that was a total misplay. I didn't even think about that. I was I was pretty happy when you did that. I was like, yes. <laughs> Uh, if you hadn't swindled me, I would have just pull, used Nepenthe to pull Chota back as well. But when you did that, I had to get creative. And then I had right. like the RNG. I mean, I drew one card and it's the card <laughs> I shuffled back. Like, come on. At the same time, that's uh, that was a little silly. Yeah. I didn't have any big plays coming up. I, I think I was just kind of slowly grinding along there. But yeah, that was fun. Yeah, awesome. Well, thanks for coming on, man. And uh, I appreciate everyone for tuning into this. Uh, next time I do this, it will be with Worlds Collide French decks. And uh, we will we'll see uh, what happens there. Because I, I want to use sets where there's there's a kind of something that doesn't quite fit. So you compare those together, aka Brobnar and Worlds Collide. So you don't have that feels bad where you get a Star Alliance Logos Dino deck versus a Brobnar Untamed Shadows deck, I guess. <laughs> That'd be the, the feels bad matchup, right? <laughs> yeah all right well thanks man for coming on appreciate it absolutely thanks for having me yeah and as always folks may your amber never be stolen and your keys forged promptly have a good one